Welcome to Star Surge, a multi-centre, student-led audit and research group. Student Audit and Research and Surgery, or Star Surge, is a national student-led collaborative facilitating multi-centre audit and service evaluations. Star Surge is coordinated by a steering group of medical students, supported by surgical trainees. It is represented locally by a network of 45 student leads, representing all medical schools in the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Following on from the success of our 2013 project, auditing the use of NSAIDs in patients undergoing gastrointestinal surgery, which is now published in the British Journal of Surgery, we are proud to present Discover, this year's multi-centre audit project, which seeks to audit adherence to guidelines on early identification of obese patients undergoing surgery and to determine the role of obesity as a risk factor in these patients. What is audit? A clinical audit is defined as a quality improvement process that seeks to improve patient care and outcomes through the systematic review of care against explicit criteria and the implementation of change where required. Obesity is a common feature in patients undergoing surgery. There is therefore an important clinical need to elucidate further the effects of obesity on surgical outcomes and complications. The National Institute of Clinical Excellence, or NICE, who issues national guidance on best practice to medical professionals in the UK, have clearly defined standards, which doctors and care providers must adhere to. The Star Surge Discover project aims to establish compliance within the UK and Ireland with these NICE guidelines, which require early identification of obese patients. Secondly, the Discover project aims to determine the role of obesity as a risk factor for major post-operative complications. The Star Search Discover project will be using the following audit standards, both of which can be found within the NICE Clinical Guideline 32. The first standard in section 1.2.2 states all hospital inpatients on admission should be screened for malnutrition. The second standard we will be using is it within section 1.2.6, which states that screening should assess body mass index. In order to undertake the Star Surge project at your centre, there are several simple steps that need to be fulfilled. The first step is to read through the protocol summary, which details this year's project. The protocol is a very important document which should be read in full by all collaborators involved in Discover. The full protocol should be published and available shortly. The second step is to register your interest via the link displayed on the slide and await correspondence from your local lead. Once registered, your local lead will shortly be in contact with you. If they do not contact you within one week, please email them. The details can be found on our website. The third step is to form a mini team. A medical student should be leading the team and driving this forward. You should be aiming to work it with at least one motivated junior doctor in order to help you navigate the hospital systems. Send details of your mini team to your local lead. You can either find a second medical student yourself or contact your local lead who can assign another team member, bringing your mini team to a grand total of three in total. If you are having difficulty identifying a junior doctor, it's as simple as going to your chosen hospital and walking onto the surgical ward and approaching a junior doctor in person. If you cannot identify someone at your local hospital, you should contact the Registrar Collaboratives for help. The link below in the comments of the YouTube video. Alternatively, you can employ a top-down approach and approach a consultant. Take the protocol with you and make sure you've read it thoroughly to discuss the possibility of engaging in the audit as well as taking their suggestion for a suitable junior doctor who can help you. Your local lead should be able to help you identify a consultant. In both instances, you will need to approach a consultant as you will need their backing to register an audit within the department. If they agree to support you, you're ready to start. Register yourself for updates at www.starsurge.org. This diagram explains how the mini team fits together and relates to everyone else working within the Star Surge project. Medical students are working with junior doctors with a consultant giving overall support in each hospital. At your medical school, 
your local lead will form the first point of contact, with the steering committee giving overall support. The Star Surge audit will be running over a long period, to help accommodate you with your studies and facilitate more students within the project. You should commit to one of these periods. Step 5. Gain formal audit approval. You will then need to work on gaining formal audit approval from your hospital's clinical audit department. You should get in contact with the audit department in your hospital to get the ball rolling from day one. Don't worry if you've never filled out an audit form before. The summary protocol contains all the relevant details and should be used as an adjunct document to be submitted with the audit registration form. Your consultant or junior doctor will also be able to help you along this road. The audit registration process may seem quite daunting at first, but it's in fact straightforward. Every hospital has an audit department and it's simply a case of approaching them with the information we have prepared. Once you've created your mini team, you need to contact your hospital's clinical audit department, preferably in phone or in person, and then by email. They will provide you with a standard audit form to complete. You can copy and paste from the protocol or from the example form given. Ensure the audit department know that this is a part of a larger project and that you will be sending anonymised data for central collation via the secure REDCap system. You will be issued with logins for this system at a later date. Once the form is completed, you may need to ask your supervising consultant to sign it. The junior doctor on your team can help you with this. Once the form is signed, you can submit the form to the audit department as soon as possible. You must check the approval has been granted after submission. Keep the written approval or the email approval somewhere safe, as you may be asked to provide this at a later date. Step 6. Enrolling on REDCap. All collaborators will be performing data entry on REDCap, an intuitive and secure online data collection tool. Once collaborators have successfully completed audit registration at their respective sites, they will receive an email with login details for REDCap. Ensure your local lead has the correct email address for you, as this is how the REDCap logins will be distributed. A guide to REDCap and an informative video will be available to all collaborators. Step 7. Complete a practice audit day. The week before you are due to start, complete one day of the audit in your hospital of choice. This will be helpful for both you to help you familiarise yourself with the hospital systems and the rest of the Star Search project. If you have any queries, ensure you relay them back to the steering committee so we can pass them on to the other teams around the UK. Step 8. Begin identification of patients and data entry. Again, ensure the whole mini team understands in full the protocol and the data which is required. Step 9. Follow up your patient cohort for a 30 day period. Identify patients and enter ongoing data. This study is prospective. You should not wait until the end of the audit period. That is retrospective. Talk to your chosen consultant about the best strategies to do this at your centre, which may include review the patient or patient notes during admission and before discharge to identify in-hospital complications, reviewing the patient in outpatient clinic or via telephone at 30 days, checking hospital records or handover lists for re-attendances or readmissions. Don't forget to check for A&E reattendances. Review imaging reports to check for unplanned imaging events. These may have occurred without readmission to hospital, but still represent a problem. Finally, be proactive in identifying post-operative adverse events. For example, visit patients on wards, discuss with the medical team, and daily checking of hospital notes is often quite useful. This will prevent underestimation of true adverse event rates. The Star Search Discover protocol also outlines many helpful strategies in identifying post-operative complications. Step 10. At 30 days, collaborators should consider making a telephone call to patients or their general practitioners to capture complications within the 30-day period which are diagnosed at other hospitals or managed in the community setting. Telephone scripts are provided and collaborators should use these in interviews. Ensure you have local audit approval in order to undertake these telephone interviews. Step 11. Check for data completeness in order to avoid missing data. If more than 5% of patients at your centre are missing data, your centre and name cannot be included. 
consult the guide to REDCap for information on checking for missing data, as this is quite simple and straightforward. We wish you the best of luck with your Star Search Discover project. Thank you.